hello hello my beautiful and my lovely people how are you all doing today yes i know you're good i know you're good because if god be for you and i who can be against us nobody we are coming as strong daily to the glory of the lord my older my new subscribers you are always welcome god bless you all richly in the name of jesus amen god bless you so today if today is your first time of meeting me my name is divine you are welcome today i want to speak a word obvious that god is calling you obvious that god is calling you a lot of you have been asking questions through this area so i'm going to be answering the little i can i pray may god help me in jesus name amen thank you and if you have all that to add as a woman of god as a man of god as a bible uh, children of god here have to know god is calling you just drop it and it will help somebody god bless you when you are called by God, number one, you just want to serve. You just want to serve without murmuring. You just feel like serving others. You like serving because God has called us to serve. Even the time of Jesus Christ, he's, he liked to he liked to, to do things. He liked to, to go out and even serve himself. He loved it. He said, go into the world. And, 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 and be good to people and preach the good news to people you like to serve because a, a a servant we always want to serve you want to do good you just want to to be good to people you just want to serve people no matter what is happening you just want to serve number two you 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 always want to do the things of god even when you are satisfied in what you're doing, but you feel you're not complete, we start going out there to preach the word of God. You might be doing, maybe you might you might be selling or you might be doing any other thing, but you not doing this, you not preaching the word of God or preaching to somebody is like you're not fulfilled all the time. You always disturb. You want to preach the word of God before you're fulfilled. And preaching the word of God doesn't mean that you have to hold a church. Okay, if you're having that sign, it shows that God is calling you. Maybe in the dream, number three, maybe in the dream, sometimes you, you see yourself preaching, you're seeing yourself evangelizing, you're seeing yourself always talking about the things of God to people. Shows that God is calling you. He's trying to get your attention. And sometimes... Number five, sometimes you feel being alone. You like to be alone. You want to be, suddenly you just want to be alone. Because when God calls us, he said we should stand out. Stand out among them. Stand out. Sometimes you want to be out. You want to meditate. You want to, you feel that there is something you are not complete about. There is something you have to do in order to be complete. You just want to stay on your own. To meditate because when you are called you want to you want to listen you want to you want to stay alone and just meditate and the other sign you will know that God is calling you all the time you always dream holding Mike in the church with a Bible sometimes you dream holding Mike with in a church with a Bible it means a lot of things but it means you have to pray and say god what are you showing me what are you showing me and sometimes god can send somebody to de to deliver you out of wayward life maybe you're a prostitute maybe you're you're doing bad maybe you're just so professional in that area god can call you out in order to serve him god can use his own servant to deliver you in order to serve him so when you are saved you are not just saved for nothing god wants to use you that's why you will be saved remember the the woman the prostitute woman that jesus met at the well when jesus tell her everything about herself she didn't even wait she ran she go out and be calling people come and see somebody that has, has told me everything about myself. He start going, preaching, calling people to come and know this God. So, you another sign is that all the time 
you are reading the word of God, you are always joyful and you are always you are always eager to speak to somebody about what you've read. You are always eager to speak to somebody what you have read. A lot of sign that God is calling you, God is trying to get your attention, God is trying to call you to do his work. In short, God called every of us to do his work. He said we should go and, and, and preach the good news all over. But when he called you special, sometimes he calls some of us special. Not that we are too special, but sometimes God wants to single you out. God wants to single you out. That's why when you read the word of God, there are a lot of people there. But when you read the word of God in uh, Exodus uh, 9 verse, verse 1, God said to Moses to go to Pharaoh in order to deliver the children of Israelite. So there were people there, but he had to choose Moses. He had to choose Moses to fulfill it. Okay? So... When God has a, a Jonah to go to Nineveh, there were a lot of people, but he has to choose Jonah. So there are a lot of signs that God is calling you. And when, when, when God is calling you, sometimes you always hear his voice in the dream talking to you about the word of God that you have read in the, in the day. All is coming to you and you are taking it to people as we are serving. Sometimes you see yourself in the dream, uh, serving uh, the word of God, preaching the word of God to people. A lot of it that I cannot be able to name because a lot of people have different type of sign. Okay, but when God called you, pray about it and start. A lot of people are always wrong that when God called me, I have to hold in church, I have to build a church. No. Uh, if you are going to any church, continue going to any church and still keep on serving your God and still keep on going out to evangelize and still keep on going out to do the things that, that God has assigned for you to do. It's not compulsory, you must hold the church, okay? If God wants you to, you can do it. But if God don't want you to, do it to his own glory. When you're not, when you're doing other things, when God is calling you, you feel unfulfilled. You feel unfulfilled. You want to do something else. You see yourself still preaching. You see yourself still preaching. A lot of people, some of the things that when you see God, sometimes God is calling you, some things that you are doing, you will not be fulfilled. You will not be happy. But when you are doing the things of God, you are always happy. When you are preaching or when you are evangelizing to people outside or inside, you are always happy and pray. That time you know that God is calling you. And when you see that the devil is always fighting you and the devil is always showing you things in the world that you have to get, know that there is something special about you that God wants to use you to do. Yes, because when Jesus was uh, uh, when Jesus was led into into fasting and when he when he come out because the devil knows that there is something strong about him, he knows that he's going to bruise the head of the serpent, and the devil wanted to deceive him by showing him the things of the world. When the devil sees that you have power to deliver, you have power that God you have, that God wants to use you to do something, it can distract you in order not to fulfill what God has called you for. A lot of things, a lot of signs, and if you know anyone that we have to put it down there. I hope uh, I was be able to answer your question. If I'll be asking this question, I hope I will be able to answer your question. There are lots of lots of signs that I cannot say here. You just you are just joyful to do the things of God. You are just joyful no matter what you are just joyful to do the things of God. I pray may God bless you all richly in the name of Jesus. And God can speak through any other man of God and woman of God that you are called by God. God wants you to do his work. God has called you into his ministry. God has called you into a prophetic. God has called you into... It can be speak to you through other men of God. And God can show it to you too. Through your dream and through the vision. It's just that what you need to do is always uh, be ready to listen and to hear from God. God bless you. If you want to know how to hear from God, go down below of this video. You are going to see it. God bless you. Originally in the name of Jesus. Before we meet again, Shalom. Bye.